We're gonna have an orgasm. Uh, not that kind of orgasm, you perverts. What's up everybody? This week we're gonna check out a place called Splash Kitchen and Lounge. This is here in Mandalu Yong too. What Splash Kitchen and Lounge is, is a restaurant. They call it Splash because they do a splash of everything. Cuisines from all around the world. It comes highly recommended. Let's go check this place out. Splash Kitchen and Lounge. The name is Splash because they do a splash of many different cuisines. Diving into a little bit of Mexican, a little bit of American, some Italian they have going on. It's kind of all over the place with what they do. So this is not a Filipino food video. I've ordered a ton of stuff here. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six dishes out in front of me right now. And I've got to try and get dessert in as well. First thing I'm going for is a little baby right here. <laughs> so what this is is a baked bone marrow. So you can see the whole bone. It's just packed full of marrow. You get a crispy toast that comes along with it as well. It's uh, covered up with some red onions on it. And I've asked them to bring me out some hot sauce and some chili flakes as well. I want to go straight bone marrow here. I'm going to hold that up for you. So you can see me get right into that bone marrow. <laughs> uh, straight bone marrow. Nothing happening here. Oh, it's salty. It's nicely salted. It's super fatty. Oh, it is just one of those beautiful, beautiful things. Let me go ahead and walk in over here. Let me get some more of this bone marrow out. And I'm going to try it just on their little crispy bread here. Get some of the onions along with it. All right, here we go. Got some of the bone marrow. Got some of the onions. We got our little crispy bread. Oh uh, yeah, the red onions are actually a beautiful touch because it leaves a little bit of a sweetness behind the fatty bone marrow and the salt that's going on. Oh, this is awesome. I can literally come here and eat nothing but this. I'm a little sad because my little bone marrow is already gone. There we go. I've, I've literally just finished the bone marrow. First piece of bread. <laughs> oh my god that is insanely delicious next thing i have here in front of me is crab ragoons uh, and i know you find them in chinese restaurants all over north america this is not a chinese food this was most likely invented in the u.s it's named after a city in myanmar and it's full of cream cheese which was invented in new york so this is most likely an american thing but they are super tasty, especially when they're done well. You get a little sweet chili sauce on the side of this as well. Here's your crab rangoons. So it's wontons, and what they are, it's uh, wontons, deep fried wontons that are stuffed with crab and cream cheese. Here we go. <laughs> does not seem like a combination that would work, but for whatever reason, it does. It's fantastic. I know you got a buddy of mine back in the U.S. that this is like his favorite thing in the world. So, Todd, if you're watching this, here's your crab rangoons. Probably the only time you'll ever see me eat these. Oh, it's good. Yeah, for whatever reason, this just works. I know it sounds bizarre. Cream cheese and crab. Deep fried and a wonton wrapper. It works well. It's really good. So here at Splash Kitchen, they have a full bar here. I do have a beer that's sitting off camera there. I also have a glass of wine over there because you guys know me. 
Uh, they do full cocktails. They do a ton of different cocktails as well, but you guys know I don't like to drink a lot of liquor. <clears throat> so I normally avoid it. But they have a full bar here. You can get everything here. The food so far has been fantastic. The atmosphere is phenomenal. I definitely worth checking this place out. We'll see how everything else goes as we go here. But yeah, they even got a gold toilet for you. Next thing we have here, we got some duck breast here. Uh, you have a little bit of a hoisin sauce spread out around the outside of this here. And you have a little green onion slaw. So here we go. We're going to take a piece of the duck, dip it in the hoisin. Beautiful smokiness to it. It's super tender. Fall apart. Perfect amount of fat to it. That's nice. I had them bring me out some more chili flakes here. So I want to get... I didn't mean to do that. What I'm going to do is lift it up and let some of them fall on the, some of these others. Fold it over like that. Dip back into the hoisin and then pick up the rest of them with it. Oh, wow. Let's see. Let's check out the green onion slaw. Hmm. I figured there would be a dressing of some kind to it. It's um, just shredded green onions. And it's awesome because there's a nice fresh crispiness to it. It works well with the smoky fattiness of the duck. It acts as a great palate cleanser. That's really good. Yeah, this might be absolutely hidden gem here in Manila. Oh, good. We're three for three on these dishes right now. This is a rosemary chicken with a basil pesto pasta. Uh, you get a fresh little piece of garlic bread along with it. Let's give it a shot. Just a piece of the chicken. Chicken's awesome. There's a beautiful fresh char to the whole thing from where they're grilling it out. Oh, that's nice. That's good. Their pesto looks fantastic. Very fresh flavor to it. A lot of times you get pesto, and it just tastes like processed. And this is done really well. I'm so used to using a spoon. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. I kind of feel like I'm back in North America right now. I'm gonna get one here with the chicken and the pasta. Try it with the garlic bread. Oh, garlic bread is fantastic. They make all of their breads in-house too. So we're going full-blown Western here. This one here, we've got some grilled chopped pork chops with a gravy, some fresh mashed potatoes, and some sautéed vegetables here. Looks like it's probably going to be a green bean. I'm not 100% certain. This gravy looks awesome. I haven't used a knife and a fork in so long that it's kind of awkward. So I want to try just the pork chops. Oh, the sauce is amazing. Mm. I feel like I'm getting a touch of honey mustard in here. Got to get it with the potato, the gravy, pork chop. Mm. That actually works really, really well. And you guys know I'm not the biggest fan in the world of potatoes, but that, that gravy alone, oh. oh God. Outside of a cheeseburger and a chicken wing, can't tell you the last time I really had Western food. It's been so long since I've had North American style Western food. Kind of makes me miss it. Last one that I have here. This is what you guys know is one of my favorite things. I've, I've done a lot of these in the Philippines. And it's because I love them. Uh, these are burrilla tacos, and with your burrilla tacos, you get a salsa, and you have your burrilla sauce here. Give there the shot. I've had some good ones here in the Philippines. Let's see how these are. Oh yeah, the brisket with this is so fall apart tender. It, 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 they're beautiful. Nice deep flavor to the burrilla sauce. 
Oh man, I can literally eat a hundred of these. Last thing we're doing here, is we're gonna have an orgasm. Uh, not that kind of orgasm, you perverts. This is uh, their dessert, they call it the orgasm. And what it is is a chocolate chip cookie that's done in a cast iron skillet. Uh, it's got a chocolate drizzle all over top of it. It comes with vanilla ice cream, there's marshmallow, there's sirens going by, you gotta deal with them. Hopefully I can filter it out. Chocolate chips all over it. This looks awesome. And also got myself a glass of Cab so from Italy here. That's nice. Go ahead, let's go. Cookie. Oh, it's gooey. Get a little bit of that ice cream up there. It's that perfect North American type sweet too. It's super sweet. The chocolate that's happening with it, the ice cream. Mmm, toasty marshmallows. Oh, that is good. Yeah, if you like sweets, you can't go wrong with us. Okay, just finishing off my wine here. Let's go through some of these totals on everything that we had here. Uh, total bill here was 3,108 pesos. Uh, glass of wine that I have here, 450. Uh, Berea tacos, 380. Crab Rangoon, 300. Duck breast, 380. Pesto chicken, 430. Pork chops, 500. Roasted bone marrow, 375. And the beer that I had was 90 pesos. I am not breaking every one of them down for you in US dollars, but the total in US dollars for 3,108.35 is right there. You can read it for yourself. Uh, that's it for this one here. I'm going to wrap this video up. You guys be sure to tune in next week. See what else I get up to.